So here's a complaint that you don't hear very often. This food sometimes is too clean, particularly for reefers that need nutrients in their aquariums. We're getting them onto probiotics because it's such a clean food, but are actually finding that sometimes it's too clean. And if you run zero nitrate and phosphate, you end up getting cyano, the red algae, and sometimes even dino. So if you are getting algae in your aquarium and you're getting zero nitrate and phosphate, then it's possible you wanna cut down the amount of probiotics that you're feeding because this also has anti-nitrate and anti-phosphate enzymes in them that obviously seem to be very effective. So if you are getting algae in your tank, green algae, or if you have got nitrate or phosphate, I definitely recommend feeding almost exclusively this food. But if you do get to a situation where your nitrate and phosphate is zero, then you need to cut down the ratio of this food you feed and feed a higher nutrient, less clean food, such as your Danichi. So my two favorite foods is your probiotics, if I want to reduce nutrients, and also my Danichi. So you very well should add a combination. If your nitrate and phosphate are too low, feed more Danichi. If your nitrate and phosphate is coming up, um, then you want to feed more of your Spectrum's probiotics. Spooky.